impact of impact of elastic bodies <clears throat> the name itself is elastic body which means when a force is applied to the body you know it will either uh, get compressed or elongated when the force has been uh, removed it has to regain to the original position so elastic or elasticity elasticity or elastic limit now you know it you are familiar with that so impact is impact of elastic body impact is it is a sudden act or force between two bodies a sudden short term act between two bodies which means suppose you consider two bodies okay so this is the call a line of impact line of impact okay and this particular point and this line is called plane of impact okay and this is called point of impact okay and a direct impact uh, when the bodies are you know actually uh, exactly with this suppose the center of gravity of this body is here it is actually colliding like this it's called direct impact and this is suppose i take it as direct impact and something called oblique impact is also possible oblique impact oblique impact which means the center of gravity of the body it been shifted say for example the same sketch like this the line e of impact is here but your center of gravity may be somewhere else so this will be a point of contact point of impact okay this line of impact and this is plane plane of impact okay so it is a sudden force a sudden effect of the force or when the two bodies collide each other or get uh, when two bodies are contacting each other it is a sudden change in the force or sudden uh within the short time right so in this uh, one or two uh, important uh, definitions so for example when the bodies two bodies are in impact or contacted what will happen to this body due to the contact of the hitting which is there you will have some compression line of compression it is okay and compression means when the two bodies are hitting or you get impacted the body gets compressed okay the time taken for that compression is called time of some not line it is it's called time of compression obviously when a body gets hit at which is there or within the contact that that particular time the body get compressed the time taken for that body to get compression is called time of compression and another definition is time of restitution restitution r e s t i t u t a o n this is the one see that uh, time of compression is when the body gets contacted it gets compressed that time so when this uh, this time of restitution is the time taken for this body okay to be free that means after getting compressed the body gets relaxed is it not that is called time of restitution that is regaining its original position when the body two bodies are getting compressed i mean uh, hit together sudden impact caused the compression 
that time taken is called time of compression and restitution is the one the time of restitution is then it get released after compression it get released that means it the compression uh, compression force been released or relaxed so that it regains the original position that is called time of restitution so both this one and two that is compression and restitution okay is in an important role for to studying about impact of this elastic bodies so this time of compression and restitution this restitution is the calculation of the original I mean regaining of this body after compression okay so this both compression and restitution put together is called time of collision time of collision it is so basically these two bodies collide each other or touch with each other with large force it is a sudden impact happening within two bodies that two bodies when they collide each other in the line of impact whether the center of gravity of the body is the same or it is shifted it's called oblique impact and your the when the two bodies get hit it get compressed that particular time is called time of compression compression alone and when it get relaxed will, what will happen when the after compression it will get relaxed which means it will regain its original shape i mean shape and size it's called time of restitution then this compression restitution together is known as time of collision okay so this is again your uh, next step of your impulse momentum equation wherein again you are going to um, find out the velocity again force and time the equation is both the same application is same only thing is your velocity force and time you are calculating with this impact of elastic bodies okay so this restitution value this time of restitution is taken as symbol e this will be final velocity by initial velocity in the sense it is final time of collision by initial time of collision initial time of collision so your restitution value so this is it, it's like uh, uh, your coefficient of friction that uh, this parameter this is the only change in this impact of velocity bodies other than this you are calculating of force velocity and time are same as such of your uh, impulse momentum equation that you can just see when uh, solving a question right so the main purpose is to calculate your compression time and restitution time so that you will understand what is the collision impact that's it as i told you uh, next to your uh, momentum that is uh, change in momentum that is impact of elastic bodies here the main change is when you consider two bodies when it is impact direct impact is there and the direct impact two bodies at the line of action when it is collide together what is the change is it the compression time of compression or time of restitution or you are finding out time of the collision so is one question given here a sphere okay a body a sphere of mass 1 kg is moving with velocity 2 meter per second okay and it impinges impinging means what hitting impinges directly on a sphere of mass 2 kg which is at rest is clear suppose this is body 1 this is body 2 this sphere will touch this body or impinges this body which is at rest okay and body 1 is with 1 kg say 1 kg and body 2 is with 2 kg clear and if the first sphere comes to rest sphere number 1 after hitting 2 when it comes to rest after the impact right find the velocity of the second sphere what is the velocity of the second sphere and coefficient of restitution what is restitution 
time of restitution is the, the time taken for the body to regain its original shape. After hitting, while hitting it gets compressed, that time is called compression time and after compression it, it, it releases and regains its original shape and size, that is called time of restitution. We have to find out. Now, what are the parameters given here? So, basically from law of conservation of en momentum or energy, law of conservation of momentum, what equation we have? Any body m1 plus u1, m2 u2, that is momentum initial and initial velocity is equal to, there are two bodies here, if you have three bodies you can n number you can add up, m2 v2 uh, plus m2, m2 v1, m1 v1 plus m1 v2, I mean m2 v2, mass of body and initial velocity of the body, of initial first body and second body, again first body m1 v1 plus m2 v2, right. So, here you need to substitute what is the mass of body 1, 1 kg, initial velocity, what is initial velocity here, initial velocity u1 with the velocity of 2 meter per second, 2 meter per second and what is v1, it gets u1 is 2 meter per second, v1 is 0. Right, now u2, what is u2, final velocity of this one, u2 is after hitting it gets 0 and initial velocity of body 2, this v1 is again 0, v2 we have to find out, is it not? Initially it is 2 meter per second, go and hit, it so will get velocity becomes 0, initial velocity of the body 2 is 0 and we have to find out what is its velocity, after getting collided by I mean hit by body number 1. So, here you take this 1 into 2 meters plus again mass is 1 into u2 is 0. What is this? M1 is again m1, 1 into v1, v1 is 0 plus m2 again 1 into v2, we have to find out. So, v2 will get velocity 1 meter per second. Okay, well, the answer may be anything, so this is the idea. Now, from the impact of elastic bodies formula or from the impact of collision, from the law of collision, law of collision of bodies, bodies, how to write coefficient of restitution, that is V1 minus V2 okay, by u2 minus u1, v by u, so it is v1 minus v2 by u2 minus u1, so when you substitute this, this value, you will get E, that is it, coefficient of restitution, this is how you will find out answer. So, the change between that, the change in momentum equation before, okay, impulse momentum equation and the impact of elastic bodies only this, the elastic, uh, the time of the collision, time of restitution and time of compression mean or with that and uh, calculated and the you using the law of conservation of momentum equation you can find out velocity as well as the restitution, that is it. So, with this you can um, differentiate or uh, you should form a table or column, you should uh, uh, you know, write a table or column right from your DLMR's principle, Newton's law, work energy method, impulse momentum equation and the impact of elastic bodies. So, it will be make your easy, the work easy and to understand what is the suitability, which formula is suitable for solving what uh, topic, that is very important. Once you read the question, you should understand this particular uh, equation can easily be solved because even you can get an answer for with the, all these uh, topics, I mean DLMR's principle, Newton's law, work energy method also you can get, but exactly to get uh, get the answer quickly, you should understand which topic is suitable for it, it will be more easier.